right, Blake Canal is my guest today. Welcome to Tech Talks to Go. Blake, how are you doing, buddy? I am doing well. Thanks, Sean, for having me on. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm super excited to have you on. You are one of the guests that is in high demand for Tech Talks to Go. But before we get into who is Blake Canal and why did your family drop the O from your name, why don't you tell us what's the actual subject matter you're going to be speaking to today, Blake? Today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Citrix Smart Tools. So that is the topic du jour. Okay. And by the end of this, are we all going to be smart tools? Uh, yes. <laughs> you in particular. <laughs> we'll cut that out of the West Coast feed later on. <laughs> all right. So, Blake, tell us, uh, first and foremost, what are the three T's of Blake Canal? We're talking your title, of course, at Citrix. How long have you been at Citrix and the industry at hand? And then your task, what do you actually do versus your title? Because titles, as we all know, are pretty ambiguous. That's right. So I'm uh, I'm a director of product marketing. I'm in the workspace services group. I've been with Citrix a little over three years covering Citrix Smart Tools, which is uh, an acquisition that came on board actually right as I came on board about three years ago through a company called scale extreme and really my role is doing uh, uh, a lot of things around smart tools primarily really you can boil it down to evangelism really trying to get the word out get people educated onto uh, about smart tools what it does why they should care and and how it can help them do their jobs more effectively and hopefully you will evangelize some today it says here as in my best evangelist voice Citrix Smart Tools are a collection of easily consumable services for IT admins that deliver value to the Citrix stack by enhancing security, increasing availability and performance, and simplifying cloud adoption. So, Smart Tools, is it, I mean, what does this marketing ease really mean? What is Smart Tools? Is it a collection? Is it one thing? Help me out. Yeah, so so that sounded awesome, by the way. Um, Thank you. Whoever wrote that is uh, just so incredible. We evangelists have to stick together, <laughs> yes, the... The author that's, of that's that right. is, is, is Walt Whitman style. That's right. So first, real quick, smart.cloud.com, that's the actual direct link to get to the tools that are available as part of Citrix Cloud. So there's, there's you can go to the Citrix Cloud site directly uh, and then navigate to smart tools as one of the services, or you can actually just go right to smart.cloud.com and, and log into the service. But Really, what smart tools are? It is it's a collection of, of several tools, but it's a single uh, user experience for primarily Citrix IT administrators. So that's who we're really targeting with with smart tools, and the idea is to provide these a set of tools that are very accessible, very easy to consume. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a a two week uh, you know intensive hands on training class to get up to speed with with Citrix Smart Tools. The idea is that when you access these tools, you should be able to very easily pick them up and then sort of receive immediate benefit from them. Okay. And if you look at the, the graphic you show on screen here, I think many folks are probably familiar with the Citrix story, which is we're all about the secure delivery of your applications and data across any network to any device around the globe. Uh, and that's sort of represented by that, that circular diagram. And then really smart tools is to complement that kind of around the edges there by providing again a way for Citrix admins to to very easily deliver on that that promise that that we make. Um, We have four key tools there that you see in the circles and I'll I'll touch on them and and there's really two that we're really actively uh, you know heavily promoting here of of late because we're seeing a lot of of traction on them and a lot of interest and excitement about them. Mm Okay, so there's four tools in here, and I'm looking at them now on the screen. Smart check, smart migrate, smart build. What's the fourth one that's hidden behind our big heads? Yeah, smart scale. Smart scale. So if you had to pick uh, one to start off with, uh, which one would it be? Well, let's start with smart check. What smart check is all about, it's the uh, providing the, the proactive health check of your environment. So if you're a Citrix IT administrator who's managing a Zen app, Zen desktop environment, what SmartCheck does is it proactively ensures the health of that system. And it it does that by running these sets of health checks, a variety of health checks. Uh, it scans your system. You can You can set this up on a schedule. So it does this perhaps overnight while you're comfortably resting at home. 
Uh, and then you can receive an email notification in the morning with the results of this health check. I'm sitting on my couch at home, martini in hand, health check is running. What types of things is it checking? So it'll check all of the FMA services that are running in your environment. Uh, it will check for the latest updates. And those, those updates to your Zen app, Zen desktop environment are specific to your environment. So it's not just a laundry list of generic updates that you might want to consider. It actually looks and evaluates your particular environment and then provides the updates that are critical to, to just your system, for example. Okay. Uh, so it's a really easy way to keep things up to speed. And one of the analogies I like to use, and you know, many of us are familiar with Microsoft Office, you get the auto update periodically, like, hey, there's some new updates. Do you want to install them? I can look at what those updates are and say, sure, install them. Very similar concept, but brought to, to the Citrix environment. So you're not, as an IT administrator, needing to proactively and manually go to our, our websites, for example, and troll through the Knowledge Center and try to discover fixes and patches specific to your environment. We'll do that for you proactively and alert you to them. Uh, so again, it's, it's nice what, what some of our IT administrators really like is the email notification system. Yeah. They just get an email notification that says, hey, everything's fine, and they can go about their day. Or, hey, here's a couple of red flags you might want to go take a look at and then discover what those those issues are and, and go ahead and sort of remediate. Hey, Blake, is this cloud only or is this available for on-prem environments? Well, that's that's a great uh, lead in, Sean, because that's actually one of the one of our larger areas of, of sort of confusion and, and misinformation, which is a lot of people look at, at Citrix smart tools. They understand that it's a, a cloud delivered service on Citrix cloud. They may not have moved to a Citrix cloud offering yet. And so then they view smart tools as something that's not for them today. Okay. But in fact, it is for them today because Citrix smart tools works not only with our cloud services like the Zen app and Zen desktop service, but importantly, it works with your traditional perpetual license on-premise data center deployments of Zen app and Zen desktop. So if you have an environment that's running today that you're happy with, but you want to ensure, again, proactive health and, and safety of that environment, you can use Citrix smart tools as a cloud service. It's almost like a, you know, a, a wrench in the sky, if you will, but it actually works on your environment on-prem. So it's for both environments. Gotcha. So it takes us, it takes the Citrix cloud mentality of, of it's a hosted cloud service, but the, the workloads in the Citrix cloud uh, life can be anywhere. So it can be on-prem. I'm assuming that I could also have my Citrix environment on my cloud provider of choice, Azure, Amazon, whoever it happens to be. Is that right? That's right. Yep. We support both Amazon, uh, AWS, and, and certainly Azure. And, and I should also point out sort of a, a part B to that question, which is, is somewhat related, which is, hey, I'm in, I'm in Europe, and I like the idea of a cloud service, but you know, boy, I, I, my data can't leave right. our environment. I can't leave the continent, can't leave Germany. I can't use your cloud service. Yeah. Citrix Smart Tools, again, is, is just like a wrench in the sky. We do not uh, suck up a bunch of data into Citrix Smart Tools. So it's, it is a, a tool that you use in your environment, but we don't capture any of that information, and store it in the public cloud somewhere in an Amazon site in you know, the West region out here somewhere. So it's, again, can be used around the globe without, without issue. All right, so security and compliance officers are not going to end up looking like us as guys who pulled their hair out, um, starting from front <laughs> or top. Okay, excellent. And the yeah. other three that we want to get into in a future episode, smart migrate, smart build, smart scale, those all sound like ways to uh, stand up and instantiate or even grow uh, Citrix environments. Am I close on that? Uh, yeah, certainly with smart build and smart migrate, but, but maybe I'll touch on a second item here, which is smart scale. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about proactive health checks with smart check. The other uh, really compelling service, well, they're all compelling, but another one that's, that's I think very compelling for people who are making this transition or you know augmenting their on-prem environment into the cloud is smart scale. So if you're running Zen apps on desktop on a public cloud infrastructure like Azure or, or AWS, one of the challenges there, of course, is that the meter is always running. <laughs> your, your licensing infrastructure from them, which is great, but you, know, you want to make sure you do that carefully because you can have a little surprise at, at the end of every month with a pretty large bill. So what SmartScale does in real short uh, sort of in brevity here is it's power management of your Zen app, Zen desktop environment. Mm. So either by schedule or by load, you can turn on or off systems 
Um, and of course, by turning off systems, you're reducing your spend in a public cloud. So there is some dramatic savings by using smart scale. In fact, it really is an essential component of running uh, Citrix uh, workloads in a public cloud. You really, right. I mean, smart scale is, is sort of a must there. That's the primary use case, and there's some really obvious uh, financial benefits there. The other use case, by the way, was smart scale, which we heard a lot about at Synergy with people coming up to speak with us, are for people who are running on-prem, they still have a need to, to scale in and out their infrastructure. And so again, they can do that even in your on-prem environments as well. There's a yep. desire to have that same sort of power management. So that whole concept of elasticity, which Citrix has been doing for years with power and capacity management, uh, built right into core yep. products such as ZenApp and Zen Desktop. And Blake, it's time for lightning round. Do you have your lightning round seatbelt on? This is the portion of the show when we hit some rapid fire questions. Uh, questions even that you as a marketing person may not feel comfortable with. So here it comes. What if you had to designate smart tools? What's the number one use case for smart tools? Well, the number one use case probably today is is again the proactive health checking with smart check. I think that's probably the the easiest way to get started with smart tools and get sort of instant benefit for your existing environments as well as your cloud environments. All right. Limitations. Where are the bodies buried with smart tools? Are there any limitations to speak of? Well, there's no necessarily limitations with smart tools. Again, the idea with the tools is they're, they're not designed to be overly complex. So they're very use case specific and they do sort of what they say they do. So smart check has a list of, of check sets we do. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to add to those check sets uh, to make them even more comprehensive. Like for example, we have an LTSR compliance check now that we use oh, in smart check. So you can check for that. Yeah. So there'll be yeah. new checks being added, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, um, it's not such a, a, a uh, unlimited tool that it's got a lot of dead bodies buried. Gotcha. It's, it's something you can really grasp easily. You can use it for what it's meant to be used for. And uh, m number one misconception of smart tools. Well, I think the one that we, we hit on earlier, which is, hey, Citrix Smart Tools, it's delivered by Citrix Cloud. I'm not ready for Citrix Cloud. I have a really large on-prem deployment. So I guess these are tools that are not meant for me. And that is something we've just struggled to try to overcome that, that challenge, which is no, 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 they're ideal for you on-prem, yeah. <laughs> uh, even though they're delivered by Citrix Cloud. So that's the, the, the just the little rub there. So Blake, our back is against the wall on this short format Tech Talks to go. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, being my guest, and I hope that I can uh, persuade you, bribe you, uh, to come back on a future episode of uh, Tech Talks to Go, and maybe we can light up a demo. Yeah, anytime, and it, and it shows very well, because again, it's a cloud service. I just need a browser, and, and away we go.